This video will guide you through the shoelace. You'll be in the pose for about five minutes, but do listen to your body. If you need to come out earlier, please do so. We can come into the shoelace from a seated cross-legged position. Simply bring one foot underneath you and the other foot to the opposite head. In this case, I'm bringing the left foot underneath me, the right foot is now going to the left hip. And we try to stack the knees on top of each other. You can do a little wiggle if you like. I advise you to sit up on something, especially if you have sciatica. If this is not available to you, if the bottom knee complains, you can always do the half shoelace of the bottom leg straight. If the top knee complains, you can maybe take stress off the top knee by just putting a block or some support, maybe a folded blanket between the two legs. So take a moment to find that place where you're feeling something. It's a bit of a challenge here. The more flexible students can actually bring their feet a little bit more forward. So take a moment to snuggle now into the floor, into the cushion. You want to feel a bit of tugging through the outside of the hips here. Now you're welcome just to stay here. There's many other alternatives you can do while you're in the shoelace. You can maybe add a twist or a side bend. But today we're just going to come forward. So you can just walk the hands forward. As you come forward, snuggle back. Keep the weight into your sitting bones. If you come down too fast, the weight goes into the knees. So walk forward, snuggle back. Just find that first edge. You can rest here with the arms straight, weight into the hands. If your head becomes heavy, you can rest your head into your hands, rest your elbows onto your thighs. And once again, use a block. Perhaps your first edge will be resting the elbows onto the block in its high setting, and just hang out here for time. Remember, if you're feeling it, you're doing it. So let the sensation soak in. Just marinate in this nice, juicy hip opener. Become still. And perhaps just notice the flow of your breath. Notice your in-breath. Notice your out-breath. After a minute or so, if your body opens up, perhaps you can go a little bit lower. You can come into the medium height setting for the block. Once again, just find that edge, become still. open up a bit more, perhaps come to the low block setting, or if you're more flexible, hands right to the floor. so juicy for the hips, perhaps you just want to pay attention to the sensations that you're experiencing. So rather than run away from the sensations, investigate them. Really climb inside the now experience that you're having.
it's time to come out of the pose. Push the floor away. I'm going to come out slowly, gingerly. You come on up. Before you move the legs, lean back in your hands. Roll the top hips away. Then with that nice juicy old person sound, just stretch the legs out in front of you. Bounce out the knees. Now we just did an external rotation of the hips, so a nice counter pose is an internal rotation through the windshield wipers. Simply drop the knees from side to side. We are also flexing the spine, so if you'd like a counter pose for the spine, you could do the tabletop. Just lift the hips up and down a few times. And then you're ready to do the other side. Or to go on to the next pose if you've already done this twice. When you come into the other side, make sure you do do the other side. So if you had the left foot underneath last time, have the right foot underneath. 